Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Anthony Vijay. Today we are going to discuss about how to update the elements in list data type using Python programming. Before going to the video, just go through the previous video what I have uploaded, which contains the basic concepts of uh, list data type. So go through that video first and come to this video. Otherwise, you will not understand. Okay, now we will start the session. Now I am going to create a list. The name of the list is vehicle. So I am using square brackets. So inside that I am going to enter some elements. So first of all, I am giving TVS, then BMW, then Hero, Honda, then Yamaha. So I have given five elements. Now I am going to change the content of this. For that I am using the name of the list vehicle of 1. So here vehicle of 1 is BMW. I am going to replace BMW now with the Suzuki. So I am using Suzuki here. So I am going to print the result right now. So print of vehicle. See the outcome of it. See TVS. Now the BMW is replaced with the Suzuki. So this is what the concept of changing the content of list. Now I am going to change two elements. For that I am using colon symbol. Then I am giving three here. It means I am starting with the one to three. So three means it is a end index. Always you have to minus one with the end index. So we will get two. So one to two means what? It is pointing out BMW and Hero. So we are going to replace both the content. For that, I am going to use square bracket here. I am using Suzuki as well as Bajaj. Okay. So uh, BMW and Hero will be replaced with the Suzuki and Bajaj. See the answer. So TVS, Suzuki, Bajaj, then Honda, Yamaha will be the output. Okay. So let me see. Now I am using 1 is to 2. So 1 is to 2 means what? So the end index is 2. So it, it means we have to minus 1 that. So 2 minus 1 is what? 1. It means I am going to replace 2 elements with the 1 element. So here the vehicle of 1 is pointing out BMW. In the place of BMW, I am going to replace with the 2 elements. So Siki and Bajaj. See the outcome. If I do like this, what happened? Now all other elements will be right shifted by 1. Okay. See the outcome of it. So we will get TVS, Suzuki, Bajaj, okay, in the place of BMW, then Hero, Honda, then Yamaha will be as it is with only one right shift. Okay, this is what the concept. Okay, now I am taking one is to three means what BMW and Hero. So now I am going to replace with only one element that is Suzuki. Okay, so it means in the place of BMW and Hero, it will be replaced with the Suzuki only. Now the element size will be reduced by one. See. It is TVS first and for BMW and Hero, it is replaced with the Suzuki and then Honda, then Yamaha. This is what the process of changing the content. Now we will going to see about how to insert an element in it. So for that, I am using uh, name of the list dot insert of. We have to mention the position, then what element we have to insert. For example, if I want Bajaj, okay. Here the elements will not be shifted at all. Okay, in the place of hero, Bajaj will be coming there. Okay, and for hero, Honda, Yamaha, the three elements are right shifted once. Okay, we will see the answer. So TVS, BMW, then Bajaj will be coming after that hero, Honda, Yamaha. So only one right shift will be taking place here. So this is what the concept of insert. So okay, next we are going to see about how to use append. Okay. So in the place of insert, we have to replace with the append. Usually the append method is used to add the element at the end of the list. So now I'm going to explain you how to use append method. So usually append method is used to insert the element at the end of the list. Here I am mentioning Bajaj. So in the vehicle list already Yamaha is having at the end. Now Bajaj will be at the end. See the answer. See after Yamaha, Bajaj will be coming. This is what append. Okay, so now we will be going to see about extend method. In order to use this method, we need two lists. For that, I am using one more list that is called fruits. Okay, so I am using square brackets. Now I am mentioning some of the 
uh, fruits name here apple mango banana cherry and all okay so i have given uh, four elements for it now two lists are ready the first list is vehicle and second list is fruits now i am going to use extend method for that i am using vehicle dot extend of okay extend of i am using fruits so it means vehicle will be coming first and fruits will be joined at the end this is what the result c so tvs bmw hero honda yamaha then apple mango banana cherry will be this is the order so which one is coming first if if it is fruits coming here fruits start extend of vehicle now fruit will be coming first see the outcome if i change here fruits fruits start extend of vehicle i am reversing the process i am printing fruits okay so see i am going to print the fruits now i run the code see here uh, i have mentioned fruits first okay so fruits will be coming first then after that only a vehicle will be coming okay this is the order will be taking place for extend so for extend we need two list okay this is what extend operation now we are going to see about how to remove an element for that i need only one list so i just uh, removing a fruit list okay so for removing purpose i just want to mention uh, vehicle dot remove of this is the one of the method for that you have to specify the name of the element okay so here uh, i am using bmw bmw now i am going to print the vehicle okay see bmw will be removed so tvs bmw will be removed here then hero honda yamaha will be there. this is what the one of the method of removing the element the other method is we have to use pop pop is also there so actually these elements are arranged one after another it means tvs will be in the uh, bottom order then bmw will be in the top and one after another hero hero will be on the top and yamaha will be on the top most okay so if i use pop here pop off if i use one pop off one means what it will take the index value when i talk about index value bmw is having index 1 so it will remove the bmw only so tvs hero honda yamaha okay if i remove this index value pop will always remove the top most element in this list the top most element is yamaha so yamaha will be removed so usually pop is always used in stack see here uh, the answer is tvs bmw hero honda but yamaha is not there it means yamaha is removed by using pop off at the same time if i repeat the same process for one more time see the result will be for for the first time yamaha will be removed for the next time honda will be removed so after removing yamaha honda is the top most element now for the next time so it will be removed so see the outcome of it see tvs bmw hero so if i repeat for one more time for the next time see the outcome only two elements so usually it will take remove the top most element this is what called as uh, pop off okay let me see the next method okay so for that we have to use del del we have to specify the index for this for example i need to remove index of 3 so index of 3 means it was honda i just uh, remove the honda so the answer will be tvs bmw hero yamaha honda will be removed so at the same time we can remove the whole list also so instead of uh, mentioning the index we can directly use del vehicle del vehicle means what we are going to remove the whole list okay so if you run this we will get the answer as vehicle is not defined it means the whole vehicle list is removed this is what the thing that's why we are getting name error okay so we you can also clear all this thing by uh, clear means what so we can uh, we can use clear method to remove the spaces by clear okay for that i am using vehicle dot clear of so while using clear of it will remove all the spaces 
finally we will get the empty list okay see see we are getting empty list it means uh, all the memory allocated for the elements will be removed okay this is what clearing list so so these are the concepts under updating the list so as of now we have discussed about how to change the item and how to insert the item and append process then extend process and finally we have discussed a lot of methods about removing it means deleting process and all so uh, in the next session we will be going to see about looping concepts with the comprehension also and guys if you are having any queries in this topic just mention in the comment box i will clarify your doubts and at the same time if you want to cover any new topics just mention it i will handle in the upcoming session please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular updates thank you very much for watching